and we need to talk about bioweapons. The level I know a lot now about bioweapons because I've been doing a book on it for the past two and a half years, and um, uh, and you know the, the, what we the technology that we now have to develop these microbes, we have we've put hundreds of millions of dollars into uh, ethnically targeted microbes. The Chinese have done the same thing. In fact, COVID-19, there's an argument that it is ethnically targeted. COVID-19 attacks certain races um, disproportionately. The, uh, the, 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 the races that are most immune, immune to COVID-19 are because of the, of the structure of the, of, um, the genetic structure, of, uh, uh, genetic differentials among different races of the, um, of the receptors, of the ACE2 receptor. Um, COVID-19 is targeted to attack uh, Caucasians and, uh, and, uh, and uh, black people. The people who are most immune are Ashkenazi Jews and uh, and Chinese, and but not, we don't know whether it was deliberately targeted that or not. But there are papers out there that show the you know the um, the racial and ethnic differential and of impact to that. We do know that the Chinese are spending hundreds of millions of dollars developing ethnic bioweapons, and we are developing ethnic bioweapons. That's where all those labs in the Ukraine are about. They're collecting Russian DNA, they're collecting Chinese DNA, so that we can target people by race.